Hi there. So this right here is the Dangerous Things RFID Diagnostic Tool. And what it is is a credit card sized device that just uh, fits in your wallet or purse and everything. And it tells you what the duty cycle and frequency of the reader you present this to is. So if you're looking at a reader out in the wild and you're wondering, hmm, I wonder if that's high frequency or low frequency and, uh, you know, is it working and what's going on, you can put this right up to it and it'll tell you uh, what the frequency is and uh, and like how how often it's interrogating so what the duty cycle is um, I'll show you right here I got a couple of readers so here we can see we have three different readers and uh, we're just going to interrogate them now we'll just put the diagnostic tool on and you can see here there's a, a low frequency light and it's kind of blinking so it's got kind of a rapid duty cycle uh, so that means the field has been created and it's looking for a tag and then shutting off created, looking for a tag, shutting off quite rapidly. Uh, over here, we can see it's the high frequency reader. So this is a 13.56 megahertz reader. And it also has a, you know, a kind of a flashy duty cycle. And uh, this one here is low frequency, and it's just on. There is no duty cycle, it's just on all the time. So uh, for a battery powered application, this would be uh, a bad reader because it's just you know, constantly looking for tags and there is no, no duty cycle, so the power use is quite high. Um, but the reason why I created this in the first place was I had a problem with my Android uh, smartphone. So uh, Smart Lock should let you unlock the screen with, uh, with the uh, RFID or an NFC tag, but uh, if I, you know, want to do that here, I can place this and I notice there's no reaction. And that's bizarre because Smart Lock is on and enabled for NFC, and there are NFC tags in the uh, memory. So it should be looking for tags at this point with the lock screen on, um, but it's just not. So something is wrong. And I noticed this when I was trying to unlock it with an NFC tag, and it just wasn't working. And uh, without this tool, I wouldn't have known that it was just not even turning on the radio. I would have assumed the tag was the problem. But there's some kind of software bug or glitch in, in uh, this version of Android and uh, but you know once it's unlocked you place it you can see oh okay there's uh, there's the fields working NFC readers working and uh, you'll notice the duty cycle kind of changes here it kind of flashes big and then a couple small flashes so that's just Android looking for an active device or a different type of device because it, it knows something's here but it doesn't it's trying to communicate with it but, um, but yeah so this this is really frustrating uh, until I had the tool and I looked and I go, okay, so it's just a bug somewhere in Android because um, it's not even looking for a tag. So anyway, that's that's the whole reason for making this and um, it's been designed so that uh, you can actually put it in a wallet and uh, just the LEDs peek out of the top there so you can still you know put it uh, on there. You don't have to take it out of your wallet. You can see, okay, um, yep, that's all very interesting. So anyway, that's the diagnostic tool. And uh, it's also a thin PCB, so it's flexible. You don't have to worry about breaking it in your wallet. It still works fine. So hopefully you'll find it useful. Uh, I know I have already. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot.